here we have it. It's uh, opening morning. Illinois, March, or I'm saying, I'm saying April, April 15th, 2022. It's opening morning. We're in Illinois. Uh, we got the bird roosted last night. Let's see what happens. Here we go, baby. So, last night, we went in, uh, roosted a few birds. Well, I should say one bird. The bird that we had been scouting the last day and a half, we couldn't locate last night. So we went to a different spot. And well after dark, we were kind of scrambling, trying to get one to gobble. They weren't really gobbling a whole lot because of the, the high winds we had yesterday. It was windy. It was like 30, 35 mile an hour winds. But probably 10 minutes after after sunset, we got one to gobble multiple times, and we got them pinpointed. We think we should be able to get within about 100 yards of them right off the roost. And uh, we're going to just see what happens. Um, he was uh, right on the field edge. So we're going to have to be really careful getting in there and really quiet because obviously it's opening day and there's little to no foliage on the trees whatsoever and the birds will be able to see us from a long time, a long ways off coming through the woods so we're getting in there well before daylight. Stay tuned. Hear that thunder? If we don't get rain down before it's going to get set up. What's up guys? We're in the blind. We just got set up. Skylar County, West Central Illinois. Opening morning. We got a bird gobbling about 100 yards off the roost right now. Freak thunderstorm just moved in was not in the forecast. It is raining cats and dogs, thunder and lightning. Hopefully this works out. But if not, we're just gonna have to sit tight in the blind and wait it out. Stay tuned. We came down here, the bird is just up this holler, and we heard him gobble once, but we know there's a hen and she's been very vocal. So we just got slipped up down in here, and we're gonna try to set up and see if we can call this bird in. You know, I don't know, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. There's really no telling, but He's definitely back here and he gobbled once we heard him, so we'll see what happens.
to, dude. I had to. Yeah, baby. What them hooks do? What them hooks do? <laughs> We're about to find out. Hey. Where you at? What them hooks do? <laughs> Son. Just setting up a ground blind in the top field, probably no no further than 200 yards from here, and we literally were getting ready to get in the truck, and we heard a bird gobble. Well, we weren't really sure if it was a Jake or a Tom, because we had witnessed a bunch of Jakes this morning run a gobbler off this field, so. We were a little hesitant at first, and I said, well, there's a hen that I hear yelping down there. I said, let's swing around. We'll come in this, this high side of the field here. We'll come around this logging road. I said, we'll set the decoys up and see if we can call her down this holler. And sure didn't help. We weren't here five minutes. I swear to God, five minutes. I yelped three times, and this hen just went ballistic. She was cutting. She was, she was yelping, she was purring, she was clucking. I mean, just the, the vocalizations were incredible. This bird gobbled like five or six times and I just kept mimicking her and just pissed her off. I mean, literally pissed her off. She came 200 yards down this ridge. She came right to the edge of the decoy where the, where the creek drops off here. The gobbler came down probably 15 or 20 yards behind the decoy and um and i killed him and it was literally a five minute hunt it was absolutely epic like you can't make this stuff up like, well let's get this bird tagged up he's a beautiful bird got a gorgeous fan nice nice big nice big beard big full beard probably a three-year-old bird he's got He's got nice, nice pearl, pearl white spurs. They're not terribly sharp, but they're, they're nice. Got to get them tagged up. Got to notch it and then call it in. Put it a little lower so we can not cover the bird spurs. Okay, that's a wrap. It's a good hunt. Doesn't get no better than that when you get a you find a hot bird gobbling. You know, late morning, midday. It's almost uh, a slam dunk if you can get the right position on him and he's hot. Just keep working them and. Working them and working them. Get them out of here. Thank you.